Kate, thank you very much. And that's a perfect segue, I think, into potentially what Will is going to share with us. So Will is representing the advertising agencies, if you will. Um, so um, can you give us some insight based on the information that uh, Lee has shared with us uh, about the property? You know, what what your feelings are, whether or not this is a, a viable property uh, for some of your brands. Yeah, I mean, the, the good news is the area, the, the topic you're covering off has a great track record with other show pro programming like, you know, the ice road truckers and stuff. Um, the other good news is because the market is so tough at the moment, um, a lot of the big advertisers are looking for branded entertainment mm -hmm. like Mountain Dew is probably more successful in its marketing efforts than Pepsi in how they're marketing because they're using just branded entertainment versus other marketing techniques that are, they can't really track great return. Um, the big thing, the big challenge you have is getting in with the agencies because the agencies are the gatekeepers to the brands. And um, probably the best way is you know, free chocolates, theatre <laughs> tickets. No, the, uh, the key thing is, and I, and I get calls, I probably get 20 or 30 calls or emails, especially a day. Can you um, help me with this property? And it's not just programming. We're getting um, people that are selling technologies, people that are selling new media techniques, all these different elements. So you're in a clutter. And of those 20 contacts I get a day, I probably on average refer zero. Because the people that are contacting me have no idea of the brands I'm representing. Or if they do, they've no idea who I am or what I do or their, their uh, approach. So the key thing when you're doing this is really do your homework. Spend some time and say, you know what, this is the perfect, the perfect uh, advertiser for the brand. And, and to Kate's point, find out in advance before you start shooting who'd be perfect. Look at Ice Road Truckers and see who's advertising for that show. Because then you can get the genre of, of advertiser that naturally, or look at their competitors who've missed out on that opportunity. So suddenly you're teeing up a perfect opportunity. The other thing I want to know is, I need to know fast what you're promoting. I've, I get people who ring me and they stick me on the phone and they just gibber about nothing. for 50, And I can't get them off. And in the end, they may have the best idea in the world, but I hate them. <laughs> like, like, eh. and, and, or I'll refer them to somebody else I don't like in the agency so they can <laughs> listen to them for 20 minutes. Um, is, is get your elevator pitch. You know, not 150 words. I want to know it's a mix of um, ice road truckers with sex in the city. and so, much. so I'm like, really? And the perfect brands that work for this are Chevron, who are doing things in Alaska and fuel for the planes, or um, a, a, a trust that is looking to preserve the, the beautiful countryside you're going to be capturing, or... Mm. Red Bull because we've got to keep the pilots away. There's, there's, there's common sense advertisers. Mm -hmm. And advertising agencies and, and media companies are ADD because we have to be. So we're TV people. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The creative industry. I mean, yeah. and most people have drifted off already. Um, <laughs> you've got to capture them really, really fast. And you've also got to help them with their job. So tell yeah, them yeah, who the best yeah. advertiser in their portfolio is. Uh, tell them the, the story. And, and also tell them how much traffic you've got. If you can prove that Ice Road Truckers has 5 million viewers, that's perfect. I can then talk to my advertiser or my client and say, you know what, this is perfect. Look how many people they're tracking. And look how they've mirrored what they're doing to get the results. And look how the success can be to, to, to get it there. But, I mean, the, the bottom line as well, and, and it's the flip side of this, is when you're pitching or you've got an idea, shut up and listen to what they say back to you. Mm -hmm. Because usually when you talk and somebody's ringing you and, and pitching an idea or trying to get an advertiser, they just talk. And I may be telling you, even to get you off the phone, the fast track to get your money, or here's an opportunity, but we don't get a chance to talk because you're too busy in pitch mode. So it, it's, it's really, and, and, and bottom line is, um, be a person, be a personality. If they like you on the phone, they'll help you. If you're a bit of a cow and you're like, I want this, then I don't have time. I've got another, it, it, it's not, I've got other things to be doing during the day. Okay, so. thank you very much. I think we're out of time. So thank you very much to all the panelists and mentors and to Lee. Thank uh, you. And that's it.